Guys, it is time for our sentence surgeon for this week. It is from the book Magic Ramen. I can't wait to read it with you guys. Uh, it's about a delicious food. Um, so the sentence says, she coated vegetables and seafood in batter and dropped them into hot oil. We can look at the end of the sentence, look at this punctuation. It is a period, which means it's either going to be declarative, which is just a regular statement, or it's going to be imperative, which is a command. And nothing in here is commanding anybody to do something or forcing them to do something. So we're going to call this, once again, declarative. <coughs> we'll get back to the sentence structure later and subject and predicate. All right, so I'm going to look through the sentence to find people, places, or things. She coated vegetables. Vegetables are a thing. Ends in S. So this is going to be a plural noun. And seafood. Seafood is also a thing. So this is a noun. In batter. Batter is also a noun. It's an object that you coat the food in and drop them into hot oil. Oil is also a noun. It's also a thing. So we've got quite a few nouns in this sentence. All right, now we're going to look for actions. So these are verbs. These are things that people do. She coated. She did that to the vegetables. So this is a, it ends in an ed. So that means it happened already. It's past tense verb, vegetables and seafood and batter, and then dropped them into hot oil. So dropping them is also a past tense verb. Past tense verb. All right, now let's look for things that describe she, and, in, and, then, into hot, ooh, hot. Hot. Hi. <laughs> All right, so we've got an adjective right here. Um, so if we look at the other words that are in the sentence, we have two words that are and, and those are conjunctions. We know that they join two different parts of the sentence. So we've got vegetables and seafood. They join those together. And the action of coding and dropping, we join those two together. So those are conjunctions. And then we also have uh, she. It replaces the name of the person, so that is a pronoun. And then them is also a pronoun. It's replacing the word vegetable and seafood. Instead of repeating it again, dropped vegetables and seafood into hot oil, it replaces it. So that is a pronoun. Only other words we have left are n and n2. Those are very similar. They are both prepositions because it's showing the positioning of the seafood to the batter and then the seafood and vegetables to the oil. So preposition. We should talk about prepositions soon. I don't think we've done that yet. All right. So we've got all those taken care of. Now let's think of, so we've got coated and dropped. Coated and dropped, those are both verbs. Those are the predicates. And who's doing it? She is. So she coded and then later she dropped. And because we have the conjunctions joining the two parts of the sentence, um, and they pretty much make sense on their own, um, this is going to be a compound sentence. All right, guys, that's it.